Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Uh, I guess you might have noticed the Wall Street fat cats are worried. The Occupy Wall Street movement has them shitting in their pants. And by the way, those are pretty expensive pants. So if they turn their lackeys loose to attack them. We have Eric Cantor, Herman Cain, and Mitt Romney calling the protesters a mob, calling them un-American. Fox News has ridiculed them. And of course, old Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and all those fucktards are going crazy. But I'll tell you something. We wear their slurs as a badge of honor. We know what the problem is. We know who the problem is. It's not the American people. It's not the workers. It's not the homeless. It's the mega corporations who exploit the workers and then refuse to contribute to the country that makes them so rich. It's the greedy bankers and credit card companies with their fine print and legalese. It's the brokers who without conscience brought this economy down and then took bonuses for it. It's the rich with their special treatment in the tax code that allows them to steal from the rest of us. And it's the politicians who sign treasonous pledges to protect these people. See, I've heard one complaint about the Wall Street protesters about the Occupy movement is that they don't have one message. That's right, we don't have one message. We have many messages. There are so many ways the American people are being screwed over, it's impossible to just point to one thing. I mean, why leave anything out? Should we ignore the fact that Republicans are taking away our right to vote? Should we ignore wars? Should we ignore the corruption that pervades this government because of the Citizens United decision? This movement is a peaceful attempt to change things for the better. And I hope it succeeds. Because if you can't change things peacefully, what's left? Thanks for listening.